what do I say to my son who's 15 and he tells me that house chores are never in his vortex? <laughs> And I feel like I don't pay attention to their rooms anymore, and they do get inspired without me nagging, no nagging about their rooms, to clean their rooms like about every three to four months. We would say to him, well, now I know what you don't want, but on that subject, I would like to know what you do want. Do you like free flowing? Do you like clarity? Do you like efficiency? You know that he wants freedom, freedom from having to do something that he doesn't want to do. But the thing is, whenever you know what you don't want, there is something proportionate that you do want. And so what do you think he might say? Well, it's usually about like, I feel like they should, and it's maybe not like contribute to the, to the well-being of the house. You see, we didn't ask you what you want him to want. Yeah. He wants to have fun. And when he cleans, he is doing it for like three hours and having fun, like throwing glasses in the air. And it's fun for him, but it just lasts super long. And <laughs> it stretches. Like, it's just, I feel like there's Wait, this... wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> Now you're really on an observational kick here and you're really practicing a vibration. That's not going to get you to where you want to be. And so it really doesn't matter what's going on with him. We're talking with you and you want something you would like cooperation and some respect and some mutual appreciation of home from your children. And you're observing the opposite of it, but you're talking about what you're getting rather than about what you want. And so you can't get there from there. You cannot elicit from someone the opposite of what you want by focusing on the opposite of what you want. You can't get where you want to be by focusing on it.